What's up YouTube, this is LDS Reliance. Today I want to tackle seven of the most common solar myths and tell you why they're just not true. Number one, solar's not allowed where I live so I can't use it. Now there's some crazy laws out there and you're always going to have nosy neighbors but thankfully there are some protections put in place. The fact is there are only 10 states in the United States that do not have solar access or solar easement laws on the books. And that doesn't mean that you aren't protected, that just means that they don't have something formal in place. So not only are you protected in most states, but the overwhelming amount of case law supports solar consumers' rights. And so an HOA or a local municipality does not have the right to be able to restrict your access to solar and usually will give you the right to shading rights of your solar panel system. Number two, it takes more energy to produce a solar panel than it will ever produce. I don't know where this one came from, but it's simply not true. In fact, the National Renewable Energy Laboratory did a study on this recently and proved conclusively that all forms of solar panels will generate a positive return on the energy within four years. More specifically, depending on the type of solar panel that you have, it will be even better than that. For monocrystalline panels, the payback period is only two years. For poly panels, one and a half years, and for thin film panels, it's only one year to generate a positive return on energy. Number three, solar panels require a lot of regular maintenance. Is it a good idea to clean your solar panel regularly to get the maximum efficiency out of the panel? Yeah, but it's not required. In fact, you're only going to lose five to 10% of the efficiency off of the panel if you never clean it. The rain will take care of most of that for you. In fact, I've had solar for over four years now and I've never cleaned them one time. They just work. Now obviously if we're talking about an off-grid solar panel system, there would be some maintenance for your batteries, but that's not the majority of solar panel systems out there. Number four, solar panels will damage my roof. This one doesn't even make logical sense to me because the solar panels go on top of your roof and they actually protect it from hail and wind and sun exposure. In a roof-mounted solar panel system, the solar panels are actually attached to racks, which are then attached to the roof. That minimizes the risk of leaks because there are not as many penetration points through your roof. And any good installer is going to use sealant to make sure that no water gets through. Number five, solar would not be sustainable without government subsidies and incentives. This one's actually true, but I'm calling it a myth because it's so stupid of an argument. All energy sources have received subsidies when they were brand new technologies, like nuclear has received 10 times more subsidies than solar ever has, and that's been in place since 1947. And worse than that, oil and gas subsidies have been in place since 1918 and have 15 times more subsidies than solar. And by that same logic, we would never eat corn if it wasn't for government subsidies either. So solar's not getting any special treatment here. In fact, it's getting a lot less subsidy than other things. Number six, solar just sends more jobs to China. I'm not going to pretend that the boom of the solar industry doesn't add more jobs to the Chinese manufacturing industry. But the reality is that solar is adding a lot of American jobs. The solar industry actually employs more than 200,000 people in the United States now. In fact, as of last year, the solar industry is growing 12 times faster than the rest of the economy. So solar is good for the world economy and not just good for the Chinese economy. And the granddaddy of them all, number seven, solar is too expensive. This one wears me out and I'm really getting sick of it and I have yet to find someone that will debate me and use math to prove that solar does not work. A lot of this is just coming from historical information because yeah, solar started in the 70s and it's been expensive up until fairly recently. But you can look at almost any other technological innovation and see that it was really expensive when it started out, just like VCRs, just like Blu-ray players, uh, just like tablets. But as the technology gets better, as more people install it, as more people become comfortable with it, the price goes through the floor. So now you can actually install solar panel systems for pennies on the dollar compared to what they were even five years ago. In fact, in many cases, investing in solar will outperform investing in the stock market, especially once you factor in that it's a lot less risk and there's no taxes involved. That wraps up another video. If you've liked what you've seen, hit subscribe in the bottom right corner. Thanks for watching.